Welcome back. The Department of State Services in River State has arraigned one Ibibio Jumbo at the State Magistrate Court for allegedly impersonating the security agency to dupe unsuspecting citizens. According to the DSS, the suspect fraudulently obtained the sum of 2 million naira from a former caretaker committee chairman of the Degema local government area, contrary to Section 1, Subsection 1, and Subsections 3 of the Advanced Fee Fraud and Other Related Offenses Act 2006. Meanwhile, the River State Police Command has followed a robbery at a new generation bank in Port Harcourt. The teams of the Special anti robbery Squad, SAS, and the men of the Rumolumine Police Station, led by the DPO, CSP Felix Nebwe, swiftly responded and mobilized to the scene. We are on sighting the police. The robbers opened fire on them, resulting in an exchange of gunfire, at the end of which three of the robbers were arrested. One, meanwhile, one of the SARS operatives sustained gunshot wounds. He's currently receiving treatment in the hospital. Items recovered from them include one cooking gas cylinder, a very large cooking gas cylinder, one hand saw, one chisel, two Ghana must go bags. They are currently helping the police in our investigation. And efforts are on to arrest other three members of the gang and recover the operational weapons. It is the commands wish that the good people of the state should have, uh, have confidence in us. The command under the, under the watch of CP Francis Mubale Jodesanya has sworn to relentlessly fight crime and criminality to a standstill in the state. From security to development, the Nasarawa state governor, Mr. Tanko Almakura, says he is optimistic that the ongoing Lafia modern and neighborhood markets will fast track his diversification policy aimed at taking the state out of recession. He said this when he inspected ongoing projects within the Lafia metropolis to ascertain their pace and quality of work done. We have realized that uh, a lot of citizens now partake on commercial vocation and we have to give them the platform, uh, the infrastructure to uh, be able to act their own living. Uh, that is why we have been able to um, put together Lafia Modern Market, which has uh, more than 1,000 local shops and uh, the same number in informal market. It will uh, facilitate all kinds of commercial activities, including farmers market, including livestock market, and including uh, farm produce, which will be attached uh, to the market. By the time we do that, we'll be able to give the people of Lafia town the opportunity uh, to, uh, um, uh, to, to benefit uh, from the liberalization we are making to us, uh, making commercial activities uh, easy for everybody. Mr. Tanko Almakura, Governor Nasarawa State. Now, Governor Ibrahim Gaydam of Yobe State has donated 10 million naira to mark the Armed Forces Remembrance Day in Yobe. At the launch of the Emblem Appeal, week ahead of the 2017 Armed Forces Remembrance Day, the governor says his administration will continue to help retired military wow. personnel who work tirelessly for the oneness of this the country. Mabali Ibn Muhammad Idrisa, C-O-N, distinguished party, I to welcome everyone who is here uh, to these events taking place here today. Uh, we are going in of newly appointed special advisors. Next. Finally, the governor of Enugu State, Mr. Ifanyu Gwani, has been speaking on the link between the poor infrastructural development and insecurity in the southeast. The governor who raised concern of, of the state on the state of roads in the region, which he describes as deplorable, called for the intervention of the federal government to reverse the trend. The governor was speaking at the Southeast Economic and Security Summit, which held in Enugu, the Enugu state capital, to discuss the challenges facing the region. We should emphasize our plea for the urgent rehabilitation of federal roads in the Southeast, more especially those connecting the capital cities of the region and all of which are in deplorable conditions. The urgent intervention in this matter will help reduce the huge losses of lives 
and fortunes, and of course daily on these roads, and also help to enhance security operations and any economic activities in the region. Stifanya Gwani, Governor Enugu State. And that's where we'll leave it for this edition of News Across Nigeria, where North, South, East, and West will tell you what's happening now across the country. Thank you for watching from all of us here. Have a great Christmas season and see you next time. Yeah.